Hey everyone, Adam with Dad Engineered here, and today I wanted to take the M3 Ultra and cut some quarter inch steel. I had someone come and visit, they left behind this piece of quarter inch steel for me, so I want to cut, just kind of show uh, how it does on that, uh, so quarter inch is 6.3 millimeters. So over here on the M Laser software, I've drawn up a box, the box is 25 millimeters squared with a 10 millimeter circle in the middle. So I'll go over here and select all of that so it'll cut. In my layer settings, which are down here, uh, the M Laser software comes preloaded with a whole bunch of parameters for whatever you want to cut. So I'll import, I've already got uh, 1200 watt air selected in carbon steel, and I'm going to go to six millimeter, uh, even though it's 6.3, that's fine. I'll just slow it down a little bit more. So it's going to do, it's going to import in. And so I'm going to take that 0.6 meters per minute and drop it down to 0.35. Uh, you can probably go a bit faster. I have no problem going a bit slower to get a cleaner, cleaner cut, smaller kerf, or maybe even a little bit, a little bit less dross. We're going to be using the air compressor at 1.3 MPA. Uh, so that's actually the uh, high end too is going to be the same thing as, as high air. And so let's kind of zoom out here and let's go ahead and grab my sheet. Bring it over here. And now it's true that this machine does not have autofocus, so we have to focus it ourselves, which is not that bad. Uh, it's, it's really pretty simple, almost, almost easier than autofocus. When I go in here and pull up my layer for my parameters, you're gonna see up here in the, la in the uh, layer name, it's gonna give me the thickness of the material I'm cutting, what nozzle I'm using, I've already got two OS in there, and it's gonna show my focal length as being minus two. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to uh, loosen this lever here, and you're gonna notice there's some small numbers on the nozzle. Uh, right now, like that would be at zero. I'm gonna adjust this up to minus two, which is right there, and hard part's done. Now I'm gonna grab my, <laughs> grab my hand controller here, and I'm gonna press function and Z calibrate. Pressing bu both of these buttons together, is going to take the nozzle and kind of do an impedance test on the steel to basically gauge what, uh, maintain that cut height when I'm gonna go ahead and cut my, uh, cut my box here. So let that finish, it takes about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, give or take, not too long. And then I'm gonna square up the steel. I put a, put a little crooked there. Uh, and it'll jump back up when done. So there we go, I'll straighten it out a little bit. I'll cut underneath here, so I'm gonna go move my red dot to where I want it. That's pretty good. Okay, over here I can hit OK. And oh, zooming in too much here. And I'm just gonna move my drawing kind of where my, where my laser is. So now I'll go ahead and close the lid. All right, so now I've closed the lid. I can hit frame and make sure I'm gonna cut where I wanna cut. And let's go ahead and press start. off grab my ah, I gotta switch hands oh, I got my glove here you see the inset drop right out <sighs> well, you can see the dross in the back looks nasty but it comes off super easy set of hands the problem the funny problem is is the kerf is so small it doesn't even drop out um, you can do micro uh, joints and things but on thicker steel there's no need to so you can see there so that's six millimeter 6.3 millimeter quarter inch steel you'll see this dross I actually keep these uh, angle cutters right here 
because you can simply, the dross is so barely on there, you can basically rake it off with this. And uh, you don't even need to sand it. You can probably just do the old uh, throwing it on the floor and, and get rid of uh, get rid of some of it. But uh, but yeah, so there's a uh, there's a six mil six point three millimeter quarter inch uh, steel. And I'll get my uh, get my calipers over here and let's test for dimensional accuracy here if I can. So I put in 25, so 24.92. So the kerf is 0 0.08 millimeters in that direction. Uh, even less, 0 0.02 in this direction. Probably need to, yeah, hold on. Probably need to zero my calipers out again. And it's hard doing this all one-handed. So 24.87 in that direction. And then if I were to do the, let me zero this again, not turn it off, zero it again, and do the hole. So the hole is about 9.44, probably 10 if I could actually uh, <laughs> get my fingers in. Yeah, there you go. So, so yeah, so that's cutting quarter inch steel with the GWIC M3 Ultra. See y'all.